Not all those who wander are lost. J.R. Tolkien. Welcome to Aegis Travel Adventures. We are Ken and Giselle. We have been to over 100 countries and are still looking to see what is around the next corner. We love wine, travel, and adventure. Listen to our podcast where we share the fun of the magical places, people, and cultures that have touched our lives. Aegis. Aegis. Travel. Travel. Adventure. Adventure. Uh, today we left uh, Buenos Aires by uh, airplane. Uh, we understand that uh, the bus ride is available at a cheaper price, but it's 18 hours, and some folks that took it ended up uh, 21 hours, and we said no thank you. Um, so we took the plane, uh, Aerolinas Ar Argentina, and it was an hour and 50 minutes. It was a <clears throat> 737 Max 8. It was a nice plane, arrived on time, smooth. Um, here we are in Iguazu Falls. Um, we arrived at the Argentine side, which is uh, Iguazu Falls uh, Airport, and there's also an international Iguazu Falls Airport on the Brazil side um, that's more complicated when you fly from one country to the other. So we went ahead and arranged for a driver to pick us up on the Argentine side and bring us over to the Brazil side where our hotel is. He did a, we, I ordered I ordered him. I got him through um, our tourist by local, our, our guide that we're gonna be using in Wazoo Falls, Rodrigo. Um, he arranged this gentleman to pick us up and he was, again, both of the guides have been wonderful. Uh, he made sure he was on time. He sent me pictures of himself. Kind of looked like a mug shot, but we won't go there. And um, so we got here and he immediately um, had our luggage and we went right through there. But one thing is, it's, it's kind of funny to mention, when we were in the airport in uh, Buenos Aires, we were uh, waiting to stand in line. And you know, you, you, when you go, you've got zone one, zone two, zone three. And sometimes it's a little bit of a cluster, people trying to you know get on. So this woman, she was militant about making sure people did not were not in the wrong zone. And so she was literally, zone one, no, zone two, yes. And so we were standing in what we thought was the proper place. And so I said, oh, zone three. And she looked at me with a flip of her hand and went, no, 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 you're not the right place. So we just started laughing because the no, no, was kind of funny because she was determined people were gonna board properly on her plane. So we got on, no problem, and uh, it was an easy flight. We got exit rows, yay. And now here we are in the Brazil side. So when you land in Iguazu Falls on the Argentine side, you leave the airport, uh, you're, you're in the national park. And it is literally a jungle. Um, and there's signs all over, you know, to be careful not to hit, you know, the tapir, uh, the coate, the jaguar. Uh, Which we know, didn't see, by we, the way. We didn't see any of those things, <laughs> but there was lots of signs. Um, and lots of speed bumps to slow people down. But it was interesting, and it's a very, very large national park on the Argentine side, and the falls, uh, roads to the falls were on the way out, but we didn't go there yet. Our, our driver did say that during night, we'd have more chance to see things. I said, a leopard? He's like, I don't think so. But he said, you never know. So, <laughs> so we, our driver picked us up, and he took <clears throat> us, um, uh, obviously, there. And then as we're getting towards the border, uh, where the Argentine and, and um, Brazilian border was, was merging, and there, the line was really, really long, and he was saying it's about a three-hour wait for, for you to leave there to go, to be able to go into Brazil. In a car. In a car. So we were, I'm thinking, oh, crap. And he was like, no, I got it. I got it. He goes, I have a, and as we've damned it, the... The Disney Fast Pass. So he whipped right up there, and we did not wait in a line. And, and he showed, I, we said, do we have to give him money? And he's like, no, no, I got it. So um, he, uh, we got our passes, our passport, and then we went right through. Then we went to the Brazilian side, and we did have to get out and walk. And we were lined for maybe 15 minutes at the most, and that was easy. Go through their immigration. Yeah, which is they look at you and went, oh, okay, here you are, you know, and there you go. But if you were to fly to the Argentine side and rent a car and think that you're gonna you know, drive through the border and it'll be easy. Uh, if you don't have one of those fast passes, <laughs> it's maybe, it's not gonna be very much fun, so. 
Yeah, I don't know. We, we That's something we didn't even um, think about or even occur to us. So uh, if you were going to do that on your own, you'd probably have to do a little bit of research. But um, so anyway, so we got to the Brazilian side. We're here at our lovely hotel. We're at the brand new Doubletree uh, Hilton. It's some um, four months old. It's a kind of a, I think it was a business hotel, if you will, but it's beautiful. It's got four pools that are gorgeous and um, they gave us a very nice room. Uh, we are staying here uh, for a couple reasons. One is close to the airport and we weren't sure, you know, all that good stuff. So we stayed a little close so we knew what was going on. But also we are Diamond members. So we try to take advantage of our, our, our Hilton Diamond members when we can. And um, because... I, I have a, a cousin that's a... Uh, a Hilton employee, and she's gracious enough to uh, uh, offer us to use the friends and family rate uh, that she gets uh, and shares with her family and friends. And uh, her husband started working there uh, last year, so he also gets it. So uh, <clears throat> we use it, and we're very happy to. Uh, last summer in uh, in Amsterdam, for example, the Hilton rooms were about 400 a night, and we were getting them for about 220. <clears throat> and uh, you know they were in the city, so it's it's a good perk if you can get it. And it's they're very gracious. <clears throat> they're very uh, Karen and Frank. Thank you. Um, they're very nice to let us use their uh, their passes. They've got more nights than they don't use, and she says nobody else uses them like you guys. <laughs> and our son Jared has uh, works for Marriott, and uh, they have a similar plan: less nights per employee, but. He's offered that up for us and uh, to use. And after we leave here, and we're going to get on the Viking Ocean cruise ship and end up in uh, Barcelona, and then we're going to fly to Ibiza and uh, in one of the Balearic Islands that Spain owns. And there's a really nice resort there that is a Marriott resort. So we're going to use uh, his friends and family right there. Thank, thanks to him. Yeah, he owes me because I gave birth to him. So anyway, so so he's kind enough to let us do that. And so we're going to be using those. And um, now the next three days or two days, we'll be here in um, Wazoo Falls. And we're going to spend tonight uh, going to a, a cabaret show, we think. It's supposed to be kind of cheesy, but um, we read it was supposed to be interesting. Um, and um, touristy, I should say, is probably the better word to do it. But it's been here since the 50s, so it's supposed to be pretty good. We're going to try it. There's nothing like the, you know, the Argentine tango and the Brazilian versions of, of dance. And, of course, they're going to have a steak dinner available. And uh, probably the best steak dinner we've ever had was our last trip to Buenos Aires. So we're anticipating this to be a, a good night. Yeah, and then when tomorrow morning our guide is um, uh, going to meet us here at a hotel at 9, and we're going to... Rodrigo. Rodrigo, who, again, like I said, we've talked with him on WhatsApp, and he's been wonderful. Uh, I'm going to try to do a podcast with him about being a guide and what that entails, and maybe can offer some tips on uh, things that maybe we would not know of, is, except it being a guide. So I'm going to see if I can corner him to maybe do a, a little podcast when we're, we're there, and we're going to... Um, see the falls we're going to hopefully we're going to be there um at sunset we kind of rearranged some plans ken came up with the idea of going there at sunset so we're going to change things around a bit and start our day a little later and end up at sunset at the falls so i'm thinking it's going to be gorgeous and then the next day we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do it from the brazilian side yeah the, the majority of the cataracts are on the argentinian side but everybody says that to really see this, and there's over 170 individual cataracts or waterfalls <clears throat> on the uh, Piranha River, um, that you, you need to go to both sides, and both sides are national parks. Interestingly enough, uh, Paraguay is right in the area, so we're at the corner um, of three countries here, and you know, having never been to Paraguay, did have the opportunity to go today, but um, it's not, not a whole lot uh, city-wise to see, and there's just a couple of smaller waterfalls, so we passed on that. And the thing with Paraguay um, is a big deal is, I guess, everything there is duty-free, so you can go there and shop for stuff, and I don't need any more stuff, or we don't need any more stuff, so we decided at this, at this point we're probably not going to go, but if something comes up, we may you know, be able to stick our toe in the water and say, hey, we were in Paraguay, and and go from there. So we are planning to do that. And then when we fly back 
to um, Buenos Aires. We're going to start on a Viking cruise. And one thing we wanted to chat a little bit about was, um, you know, our reasonings for doing this on our own. We've mentioned before about we kind of enjoy the adventure of it. Um, also, we look at a little bit the cost of it. Right now, we estimate if we're done, done, you know, done, what, all, all things done, it'll probably be about $2,000 for us to do this side trip um, to um, the falls. And um, Vikings was... 3700 per person, but it did include two days in Rio de Janeiro, which would, would be interesting, but our cruise ship goes there, and uh, we will have some uh, included excursions and some time on our own uh, to see the city. So uh, for that kind of money, it just seemed like uh, it was kind of extravagant to, uh, to do it twice. Uh, in Rio. Now you will see on the Viking when you're, you're definitely going to see more things than what we will be seeing when we go there. But it, you know, we is one of those places that we thought we're going to kind of go and see what we what we like about the city, and what we do won't want to come back, or then we may come back and try to do something a, a little different. Uh, as I said before, lots of times we use cruises as a way to kind of scope out the area and scope out the countries to see is this something we want to come back and spend some time on. So as I said, we are um, planning to to keep up with our podcast. We're going to try to do a live one tomorrow or the next day while we're at the falls. So maybe you can hear the falls, and if I can maybe figure out how to we may even do some live video uh our, our, again our skills my my photography skill sets are is, is learning a learning curve with apple but i think we might be able to manage it and um we'll look forward to to continue on our journey we appreciate everyone being with us you know and we'll uh we'll fill you on in on the details of the uh the guided tour which is all day for two days there's a lot of pieces to it and uh we're considering doing a helicopter ride uh, within those two days so you can really see 170 cataracts from the air they say it's it's a whole different perspective so we're trying to arrange that and see how that goes and we'll make sure our life insurance policies are paid up so our children will be happy and and we will um we'll let you guys know and we again appreciate everybody listening and we are um excited about our new adventure here in in Wazoo. in Wazoo Falls. Iguazu. Iguazu Falls. <laughs> Alrighty. Take care. Thanks for listening.